The vast expanse of the Galactic Council Chamber was filled with an air of solemnity as Cadet Jack stood on the metallic podium, his heart pounding against his ribcage like a drum. The high-ranking officials of the Galactic Council sat before him, their faces stern, expressions unwavering. The chamber's grandeur, with its towering columns and intricate carvings, seemed to mock his youth and inexperience. Yet Jax's resolve was unshaken. His proposal was the culmination of years of hard work and unwavering belief in humanity's future. The colony ship, Endeavor, represented the last beacon of hope for Earth, a planet teetering on the brink of destruction. High Counselor Verdan, a figure of immense authority with piercing eyes and an air of unyielding authority, leaned forward. Cadet Jax, his voice reverberated through the chamber, every word carrying the weight of a final decree. Your request to launch the endeavor is hereby denied. The risks associated with this mission are too great. We cannot allocate our dwindling resources to a venture with such uncertain outcomes. A murmur of agreement rippled through the council members, their faces a mask of caution and fear. Jax felt a surge of frustration and disbelief. His heart ached at the thought of Earth's imminent demise. He had meticulously planned every aspect of the mission, left no stone unturned in ensuring the feasibility of the launch. How could they not see the necessity of this venture? Counselor Verdun, Jax began, his voice steady despite the turmoil within him. The situation on Earth is critical. Our atmosphere is failing, ecosystems collapsing. If we don't take action now, humanity will have no future. The endeavor is our only chance to escape and find a new home. Verdun's gaze hardened, a flicker of impatience crossing his features. The Council's decision is final, Cadet. We will not risk our remaining resources on a gamble, dismissed. The finality in Verdan's tone echoed in Jax's mind as he turned to leave, the weight of the Council's decision pressing down on his shoulders. As he exited the chamber, the reality of the situation began to sink in. The Council's refusal meant certain doom for those left on Earth. The corridors of the council building, usually bustling with activity, felt eerily silent, mirroring the despair in Jax's heart. He made his way to the hangar, each step heavy with determination. The sight of the endeavor, standing tall and majestic under the hangar lights, filled him with a renewed sense of purpose. This ship was more than just a vessel. It was a lifeline for humanity, meticulously crafted to withstand the rigors of space travel and to offer a chance of survival on a new world. Lost in thought, Jax didn't notice Tessa approaching until she was right beside him. Her presence was a comforting anchor in the storm of his emotions. Tessa, with her sharp mind and unwavering loyalty, had been by his side throughout their training and preparations. What happened in there? Tessa asked, her voice a mixture of concern and curiosity. They said no, Jax replied, his frustration palpable. They're too scared to take the risk. Tessa's eyes searched his face, understanding dawning in her expression. So what now? Jax took a deep breath, the decision already made in his heart. We launch, with or without their approval. We can't sit back and watch our planet die. A silence fell between them, heavy with the implications of Jax's words. Tessa looked at the endeavor, then back at Jax, her eyes filled with determination. Then I'm with you. We've come too far to turn back now. They spent the rest of the night preparing the ship, working with a sense of urgency that belied the exhaustion tugging at their bodies. The endeavor came to life under their hands, systems humming, lights flickering on as they ran final checks. The cargo bay, filled with supplies and cryopods, represented the hopes and dreams of thousands of volunteers who had pinned their future on this mission. As dawn approached, the ship was ready. Jax and Tessa took their places in the cockpit, the control panels glowing softly under their touch. The enormity of what they were about to do hung heavily in the air, but there was no turning back now. Initiating launch sequence, Jax announced, his voice steady despite the adrenaline coursing through his veins. The ship's engines roared to life, a powerful tremor running through the endeavor as it began to lift off. The ground below trembled, the hangar lights flashing as the ship ascended, breaking through the atmosphere. Jax's heart pounded as he guided the endeavor into the vast expanse of space, Earth shrinking behind them. We did it, 
Tessa whispered, awe and relief mingling in her voice as they watched their home planet fade into the distance. For a moment, the enormity of their defiance and the significance of their mission washed over them. They had defied the highest authority, taken a leap of faith, and launched humanity's last hope into the unknown. The journey ahead would be fraught with challenges, but Jax knew they had made the right choice. For the future of humanity, they had to succeed. Jax stormed through the corridors of the Endeavor, frustration and determination warring within him. The hum of the ship's systems and the soft glow of the lights did little to calm his raging thoughts. They had defied the Council, launched against all odds, but now they were on their own, and the weight of that decision was starting to settle in. He found Tessa in the engine room, her hands deftly adjusting the ship's complex machinery. Her brow was furrowed in concentration, but she looked up as Jax entered, sensing his agitation. Jax, what's wrong? She asked, her voice steady but tinged with concern. We're on our own now, Tessa, Jax replied, his voice taut with urgency. We need to be prepared for anything. The Council's decision was final, but that doesn't mean we're safe. We've got to make sure everything is in perfect working order. Tessa nodded, understanding his worry. I've been running diagnostics on the engines. Everything checks out so far, but I'll double check the navigation systems. We can't afford any mistakes. Jack sighed, rubbing the back of his neck. Thanks, Tessa. I don't know what I'd do without you. We're in this together, she said firmly, giving him a reassuring smile. Let's get this done. Hours turned into days as they meticulously went over every inch of the endeavor, ensuring the ship was ready for the journey ahead. They took turns resting and working, their movements synchronized from years of training together. Despite the tension, there was an unspoken bond between them, a shared resolve to see the mission through. One night, as they floated in the silence of space, Jax and Tessa took a moment to gaze out at the stars. The vastness of the universe stretched out before them, a reminder of both the challenge and the opportunity that lay ahead. Do you ever wonder what's out there? Jax asked, his voice soft in the quiet of the cockpit. All the time, Tessa replied, her eyes reflecting the distant starlight. But I also know that whatever we find, we'll face it together. Their conversation was interrupted by a sudden beeping from the control panel. Jax leaned forward, his brow furrowing as he examined the readout. We've got an incoming transmission, he said, his voice tense with surprise. It's not from the council, it's an unknown source. Tessa's eyes widened. Could it be another ship? Maybe there are other survivors out here. Only one way to find out, Jax said, opening the channel. A moment later, a voice crackled through the speakers, distorted but unmistakably human. This is Captain Maris of the Star Chaser. We detected your launch and have been tracking your progress. We're here to help. Jax and Tessa exchanged stunned looks. The existence of another ship was a game changer, a potential ally in the vast, lonely expanse of space. This is Cadet Jax of the Endeavor, Jax replied, trying to keep his voice steady. We're grateful for any assistance you can provide. What's your current location? There was a brief pause before Captain Maris responded. We're about three light years away, but we're moving towards your coordinates. We should rendezvous in a few days. Hang tight, Endeavor. As the transmission ended, Jax let out a breath he hadn't realized he was holding. Tessa grinned, her relief evident. Looks like we're not as alone as we thought. Jax nodded, feeling a surge of hope. We just need to hold out until they get here. Let's make sure we're ready to welcome them. The next few days were a flurry of activity as Jax and Tessa prepared for the arrival of the Star Chaser. They secured supplies, ran additional diagnostics, and even found time to rest, knowing that reinforcements were on the way. On the appointed day, the Star Chaser appeared on their sensors, a sleek ship that seemed almost a mirage against the backdrop of space. Jax and Tessa watched as it approached, their hearts pounding with anticipation. Endeavor, this is Star Chaser. We're preparing to dock came Captain Maris's voice over the comm. Copy that, Star Chaser. We're ready to receive you, Jax replied, guiding the Endeavor into position. The docking procedure was seamless, and soon the airlock cycled open. Jax and Tessa stood ready to greet their unexpected allies. Captain Maris, a tall woman with a commanding presence, stepped through, followed by a small team of crew members. 
Welcome aboard the Endeavor, Jack said, extending his hand. We didn't expect to find anyone else out here. Maris shook his hand firmly. We've been monitoring the situation on Earth for some time. When we saw your launch, we knew we had to help. We've got supplies and additional crew to assist with your mission. Tessa stepped forward, her eyes bright with gratitude. We can't thank you enough. This mission means everything to us. Maris smiled, a glint of determination in her eyes. We're all in this together. Let's make sure humanity has a future. With the Star Chaser's assistance, the Endeavor's mission took on new momentum. The combined crews worked tirelessly, sharing knowledge and resources, their efforts united by a common goal. For the first time since their launch, Jax felt a true sense of hope. They were no longer alone in the vast expanse of space. Together, they would forge a path to a new world, a new beginning for humanity. Jax and Tessa had barely slept in days, the relentless pace of their preparations driving them forward. Every system on the Endeavor had been double-checked, every contingency planned for. Yet, as the final countdown began, a palpable tension filled the air. The enormity of their task loomed over them, but so did their determination to see it through. In the cockpit, Jax sat at the helm, his fingers dancing over the controls. The ship's systems hummed in response, a symphony of technology ready to carry them to their new home. Tessa, seated beside him, reviewed the launch sequence one last time. Thrusters are primed, fuel levels are optimal, Tessa reported, her voice steady despite the adrenaline coursing through her veins. All systems are go. Understood, Jax replied, his gaze fixed on the view ahead. The stars stretched out like a vast, endless sea, their destinations somewhere beyond. He activated the ship-wide comm. Attention all personnel, this is Cadet Jax. Prepare for launch, we're about to make history. A chorus of acknowledgments came through the comm, and Jax could feel the collective resolve of the crew bolstering his own. He took a deep breath, his mind focused on the task at hand. Engage primary engines, he instructed, his voice calm and authoritative. The endeavor vibrated with the power of its engines, a deep rumble that resonated through every part of the ship. Slowly, almost imperceptibly at first, they began to rise. The launch pad fell away beneath them, the planet's surface receding as they ascended into the atmosphere. Altitude holding steady, Tessa reported, her eyes scanning the readouts. We're on course. Jax nodded, his hands steady on the controls. Increase thrust to maximum. Let's break free of this gravity well. The ship surged forward, the engines roaring as they pushed against the pull of the planet below. The atmosphere grew thinner, the sky darkening as they climbed higher and higher. Finally, with a burst of speed, they broke through into the vacuum of space. Ladies and gentlemen, Jax announced over the comm, a smile breaking across his face. We are officially in space. Cheers erupted throughout the ship, a wave of relief and triumph washing over the crew. Jax allowed himself a moment to savor the success, but there was no time to rest. The real journey was just beginning. Set course for our first waypoint. Jax instructed, his focus returning to the controls. We've got a long way to go. As the Endeavor adjusted its trajectory, Jax and Tessa worked in seamless coordination, their movements precise and practiced. The stars outside the viewport seemed to blur as the ship accelerated, the vastness of space unfolding before them. Hours turned into days, the monotony of travel punctuated by routine checks and maintenance. Jax and Tessa took turns at the helm, each finding moments to rest and recharge. The crew settled into a rhythm, the initial excitement giving way to the steady determination needed for the long journey ahead. One evening, as Jax was poring over navigational charts in the dim light of the cockpit, Tessa entered, carrying two steaming mugs of coffee. She handed one to Jax, who accepted it gratefully. Thought you could use a break, Tessa said, taking a seat beside him. Thanks. Jax replied, taking a sip and feeling the warmth spread through him. How's everything looking? Tessa shrugged, her expression thoughtful. Systems are stable, no anomalies detected, but I've been thinking, Jax raised an eyebrow. About what? About the next leg of our journey, Tessa said, her gaze drifting to the stars outside. We've planned for every possible scenario, but there's always the unknown. We need to stay sharp, be ready for anything. 
Jax nodded, understanding her concerns. You're right. We've come this far, but we can't let our guard down. We'll get through this together, just like we always have. Tessa smiled, her confidence returning. Together. Their conversation was interrupted by a sudden alert from the control panel. Jax frowned, setting his mug aside and quickly scanning the readout. We're picking up a signal, he said, his voice tinged with curiosity. It's faint, but definitely there. Tessa leaned in, her fingers flying over the controls. It's not a distress signal, more like a beacon. Coordinates are coming through now. Jax's mind raced. A beacon in the middle of deep space? It could be a sign of another ship, or perhaps a waypoint left by earlier explorers. Either way, it warranted investigation. Adjust our course to intercept, Jax ordered, his eyes fixed on the readout. Let's see what we're dealing with. The Endeavor altered its trajectory, heading toward the source of the signal. As they drew closer, the beacon's signal grew stronger, a steady pulse guiding them through the darkness. Visual contact in three, two, one, Tessa announced, her voice filled with anticipation. Outside the viewport, a structure came into view. It was a small, ancient space station, its exterior worn and battered by years of exposure to the elements. Jax and Tessa exchanged a look. Their curiosity peaked. Bring us in for a closer look, Jax instructed, maneuvering the endeavor with careful precision. As they approached, the details of the station became clearer. It was clearly abandoned, its systems dormant. Jax could see docking ports and access hatches, suggesting it had once been a hub of activity. Scan for any signs of life or active systems, Jax said, his mind racing with possibilities. Tessa complied, her eyes scanning the readouts. No life signs detected. Power levels are minimal, but there's a faint energy signature. Something's still running in there. Jax considered their options. Investigating the station could provide valuable resources or information, but it also carried risks. However, they couldn't afford to ignore potential opportunities. Prepare a team for EVA, Jax decided. We're going to check it out. Minutes later, Jax and Tessa, suited up and ready, stood in the airlock with two other crew members. The airlock cycled, and they stepped out into the cold void of space, making their way to the station. They reached the access hatch, and Jax worked quickly to bypass the old security protocols. The hatch creaked open, revealing a dark interior. They activated their suit lights, illuminating the narrow corridor ahead. Stay close and keep your eyes open, Jax instructed, leading the way. The station's interior was a maze of dark, narrow corridors and abandoned rooms, Dust floated in the air, undisturbed for who knew how long. They moved cautiously, their footsteps echoing in the silence. In what appeared to be the control room, they found the source of the faint energy signature, a small, flickering console. Tessa moved to examine it, her hands deftly working the controls. This console is still functional, but just barely, she reported. I'm accessing the logs now. The screen came to life, displaying fragmented data. Tessa's eyes scanned the information, piecing together the story of the station. This place was a research outpost, she explained. They were studying long-range communications and navigation. Looks like they were trying to establish contact with other colonies or ships. Jax's mind raced. If they could restore the station's systems, it might serve as a valuable communication hub, a lifeline for their mission. See if you can get the main systems online, Jax said. This station could be a game changer for us. Tessa nodded, working quickly to reroute power and restore functionality. The lights flickered on and the hum of machinery filled the room. We've got partial power, Tessa announced, her eyes gleaming with triumph. Main systems are coming online. Jax allowed himself a moment of relief. This discovery could provide the support they desperately needed. As the station's systems came to life, he knew they were one step closer to securing humanity's future. Great work, everyone, Jack said, a sense of optimism filling him. Let's make this station our new home base. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, but we're on the right track. As they began the process of integrating the station's capabilities with the Endeavor's systems, Jax felt a renewed sense of purpose. They were forging a path through the unknown, driven by the unyielding hope of a new beginning, and together, they would face whatever challenges lay ahead. Jack stood in the observation deck of the Endeavor, 
gazing out at the stars as the ship cruised through the inky blackness of space. The research outpost they had discovered now served as a beacon, marking their progress and providing a critical waypoint. The crew had settled into a rhythm, their days filled with the tasks necessary to keep the ship running smoothly and their mission on track. In the mess hall, the crew gathered for a brief respite. Laughter and conversation filled the air as they shared a meal. The camaraderie a welcome relief from the constant vigilance required in space. Jax and Tessa joined them, their presence a steadying influence on the group. So, Jax, said Lieutenant Harris, a seasoned engineer with a quick wit, what's next on our grand adventure? Jax leaned back, a small smile playing on his lips. We're heading towards a system with a potentially habitable planet. It's a long shot, but it's our best chance. We'll need to prepare for anything. Tessa nodded, her expression serious. We've identified some potential hazards on the way, including asteroid fields and areas with high radiation. We'll have to navigate carefully. Sounds like a party, Harris joked, earning a chuckle from the crew. As the meal concluded, Jax and Tessa returned to the cockpit where the vast expanse of space awaited them. They resumed their positions, ready to guide the endeavor through the next leg of their journey. Course is set, Tessa reported, her fingers flying over the controls. We should reach the system in approximately 10 days. Jax nodded, his gaze focused on the view ahead. Let's hope our luck holds out. Days passed in a blur of activity. The crew maintained the ship, conducted routine checks, and prepared for the challenges ahead. Jax and Tessa worked tirelessly, their partnership a well-oiled machine. Despite the constant demands, there was a sense of anticipation in the air, a feeling that they were on the brink of something monumental. One evening, as Jax reviewed the ship's logs in the quiet of his quarters, an alert sounded. He sprang to his feet, quickly making his way to the cockpit. Tessa was already there, her expression tense as she scanned the readouts. What's happening? Jax asked, his voice sharp with concern. We're picking up a distress signal, Tessa replied, her eyes locked on the screen. It's faint, but definitely human. Jax's mind raced. Another ship in trouble could mean more survivors, or it could be a trap. They had to investigate, but they couldn't afford to be reckless. Can you pinpoint the source? He asked, moving to her side. Tessa nodded, her fingers working swiftly. Got it. It's coming from an asteroid field about two light years from our current position. Jax considered their options. The asteroid field would be treacherous to navigate, but they couldn't ignore a potential call for help. Set a course, he decided. We'll approach with caution, inform the crew, and prepare for possible rescue operations. The endeavor altered its trajectory, the engines humming as they changed course. As they approached the asteroid field, the tension among the crew was palpable, Jax and Tessa guided the ship through the dense cluster of rocks, their eyes sharp and their movements precise. There, Tessa said, pointing to the screen, I see the source of the signal. It's a small vessel, heavily damaged. Jax brought the endeavor in closer, carefully maneuvering around the asteroids. The damaged ship came into view, its hull scarred and its systems flickering weakly. Open a comm channel, Jax instructed, his voice calm and steady. This is Cadet Jax of the Endeavor. We received your distress signal and are here to assist. Can you respond? For a moment, there was only static. Then a weak voice crackled through the speakers. This is Captain Ray of the Free Spirit. We've sustained heavy damage and are in need of immediate assistance. Our life support systems are failing. Hang tight, Captain Ray, Jax replied. We're on our way. Jax and Tessa coordinated the rescue, their movements synchronized and efficient. A team of engineers and medics prepared to board the free spirit, their faces set with determination. Be careful out there, Jack said to the team, his voice filled with both authority and concern. We don't know what condition the ship is in, so stay alert. The team nodded and exited through the airlock, making their way to the damaged vessel. Jax and Tessa monitored their progress from the cockpit, their eyes glued to the screens. Team Alpha, do you copy? Tessa's voice was calm but urgent. We're inside, came the reply. The ship's in bad shape, but we've located the crew. They're in critical condition, but we're stabilizing them for transport. Good work, Jack said. Get them back here as quickly as possible. Minutes felt like hours as they waited. Finally, the team returned, bringing the injured crew members aboard the Endeavor. 
The medical bay buzzed with activity as the medics worked to stabilize the newcomers. Jax and Tessa watched from the observation window, their expressions a mix of relief and concern. They're in rough shape, but they'll make it, Tessa said, her voice soft. Jax nodded, his mind already racing ahead. We'll have to figure out what happened to them and see if there's anything we can salvage from their ship. As the medical team continued their work, Jax and Tessa made their way to the Free Spirit. The ship's interior was a chaotic mess of debris and damaged systems. They moved carefully, searching for any clues about what had happened. Looks like they were hit by a micrometeor shower, Tessa observed, examining a large hole in the hull. They didn't have time to react. Jax's eyes narrowed as he spotted a flickering console. Let's see if we can access the ship's logs. Tessa worked her magic, bringing the console to life. The logs were fragmented, but they pieced together enough to get a sense of the events. They were on a mission similar to ours, Tessa said, reading through the data. Searching for habitable planets, they must have been caught off guard. Jax nodded, a sense of camaraderie filling him. We'll help them get back on their feet. They're part of this mission now. Back on the Endeavor, the rescued crew members were recovering, their gratitude evident in their eyes. Captain Ray, a woman with a fierce determination despite her injuries, approached Jax and Tessa. You saved our lives, she said, her voice hoarse but sincere. We owe you everything. Jax shook his head. We're all in this together, Captain. Let's focus on the mission. We can discuss the details later. Ray nodded, her respect for Jax and Tessa clear. Agreed, we'll do whatever we can to assist. With the Free Spirit crew integrated into their own, the Endeavor's mission continued with renewed vigor. The additional hands and expertise were invaluable, and the sense of unity among the crew grew stronger. As they approached the system with the potentially habitable planet, anticipation and hope filled the air. The journey had been long and fraught with challenges, but they were closer than ever to their goal. Prepare for orbital insertion, Jax announced, his voice steady. This is it, everyone. Let's see what we've got. The ship slowed as it approached the planet, the blue-green orb growing larger in the viewport. Jax and Tessa worked in tandem, guiding the Endeavor into orbit. Scans show a breathable atmosphere and abundant resources, Tessa reported, her eyes wide with excitement. This could be the one, Jax. Jax nodded, his heart pounding with anticipation. Prepare a landing party. We need to assess the surface conditions and establish a base camp. As the Endeavor descended towards the planet, the crew's excitement was palpable. They were on the brink of a new beginning, a fresh start for humanity. Jax's mind raced with possibilities, the future unfolding before them like an uncharted map. The landing was smooth, the Endeavor touching down on the lush, verdant surface. Jax, Tessa, and a team of explorers stepped out their eyes wide with wonder as they took in the breathtaking landscape. This is it, Jack said, his voice filled with awe. We've found our new home. Tessa smiled, her eyes shining with tears of joy. And we did it together. As they began to explore and set up their new base, the crew's spirits soared. The challenges they had faced seemed distant now, the promise of a new beginning filling them with hope and determination. Jax looked out at the horizon, the sun setting in a blaze of colors. The journey had been long and arduous, but they had made it. They had defied the odds, overcome countless obstacles, and now stood on the brink of a new era for humanity. With a deep sense of fulfillment and optimism, Jax turned to his crew. This is just the beginning. Together, we'll build a future for ourselves and for generations to come. Let's get to work. As they set about their tasks, the sense of purpose and unity was stronger than ever. The journey was far from over, but they faced it with unyielding resolve and the knowledge that they were part of something greater. Together, they would forge a new path, a new destiny among the stars. The initial exploration team had returned with their findings, and the crew of the Endeavor gathered in the mess hall for the debrief. Jack stood at the head of the table, his eyes sweeping over the faces of his crew, their expressions a mix of anticipation and curiosity. All right, team, Jax began, his voice carrying a blend of authority and excitement. We've completed our preliminary survey of the surrounding area. The results are promising. We have access to fresh water, fertile soil, and abundant wildlife. This planet is more than habitable. 
It's a potential paradise. A murmur of approval and relief rippled through the room. Tessa, standing beside Jax, added, We've identified a suitable location for our initial settlement. It's a flat, open area near a river with plenty of natural resources. We'll begin constructing shelters and setting up our base camp immediately. Captain Ray, her injuries mostly healed, leaned forward, her eyes sharp. What about potential threats, predators, hostile flora, or fauna? Jax nodded, appreciating her thoroughness. We've encountered some wildlife, but so far nothing that poses a significant threat. We'll establish perimeter defenses and continue monitoring for any dangers. Safety is our top priority. Satisfied with the plan, the crew dispersed, each member assigned specific tasks. Jax and Tessa led the construction efforts, directing the setup of shelters, supply depots, and defensive structures. The work was hard, but the sense of purpose and camaraderie fueled their progress. As the sun set on their first day of construction, Jack stood by the river watching the colors dance across the sky. Tessa joined him, her face flushed with exertion but her eyes bright with satisfaction. We've made good progress today, Tessa said, her voice soft as the sounds of nature filled the air. The crew is really coming together. Jax nodded, feeling a deep sense of fulfillment. We're building more than just shelters. We're building a future. The next morning, Jax awoke to the sound of chirping birds and the scent of fresh alien air. He quickly dressed and joined the crew, who were already bustling with activity. The construction site buzzed with energy as shelters took shape, supply crates were unloaded, and defensive barriers were erected. Jax worked alongside his crew, hauling materials and assisting with the construction. His hands ached and his muscles burned, but he welcomed the physical labor. It was a tangible reminder of their progress, a way to stay connected to the mission. In the afternoon, as the sun climbed high in the sky, Tessa called out, Jax, we need to discuss our water purification system. We've located a spring, but we need to ensure it's safe for drinking. Jax wiped the sweat from his brow and joined her by the spring. The clear, bubbling water looked inviting, but they couldn't take any chances. Let's run a full analysis, he said, pulling out a portable testing kit. They worked together, analyzing the water's composition and ensuring it was free of harmful contaminants. As the results came in, Tessa smiled. It's clean. This spring will be our primary water source. Jax felt a wave of relief. Great work, Tessa. Let's set up the purification system and get it operational. As the days turned into weeks, the settlement took shape. Shelters were completed, providing the crew with comfortable living quarters. Gardens were planted, and the first crops began to sprout, promising a sustainable food source. The water purification system ran smoothly, providing an abundant supply of fresh water. One evening, as the crew gathered around a fire, sharing stories and laughter, Jax felt a deep sense of pride. They had transformed a wild, alien landscape into a thriving settlement. The journey had been long and arduous, but they had persevered, united by a common goal. Jax, Captain Ray said, her voice carrying over the crackling fire. We've come a long way, but there's still much to do. We need to start thinking about long-term infrastructure, communications, transportation, education. Jax nodded, appreciating her forward thinking. You're right. We need to plan for the future, for the generations that will come after us. Let's start by establishing a central command center. From there, we can coordinate our efforts and ensure we're building a sustainable community. The next day, construction began on the command center. It would serve as the heart of their settlement, housing communications equipment, administrative offices, and a central hub for planning and coordination. The crew worked tirelessly, their spirits buoyed by the progress they had already made. As the command center neared completion, Jax and Tessa took a moment to reflect on their journey. They stood on a hill overlooking the settlement, the sun setting in a blaze of colors behind them. We've come so far, Tessa said, her voice filled with awe. From a desperate launch to this, it's incredible. Jax nodded, his heart swelling with pride. And we're just getting started. We've laid the foundation for something great. Now, we need to ensure it continues to grow and thrive. With the command center operational, the crew turned their attention to other critical infrastructure. 
They established communication links with the research outpost and began exploring the surrounding areas for additional resources. Schools were set up to educate the children who would one day inherit this new world, and medical facilities ensured the health and well-being of the settlers. One day, while surveying a nearby valley, Jax and Tessa stumbled upon a remarkable discovery. Hidden among the rocks was a cave, its entrance partially obscured by foliage. Intrigued, they ventured inside, their flashlights illuminating the dark interior. What do you think this place is? Tessa asked, her voice echoing off the walls. I'm not sure, Jax replied, his curiosity piqued. But let's find out. As they ventured deeper into the cave, they discovered ancient markings on the walls. The symbols were unfamiliar, yet they spoke of a long-forgotten civilization. Jax's mind raced with possibilities. Could this planet have once been home to an advanced species? What secrets did it hold? We need to document this, Jack said, taking out his scanner. This could be a significant archaeological find. Tessa nodded, her eyes wide with excitement. I'll notify the team. We need to conduct a thorough investigation. The discovery of the cave added a new dimension to their mission. The crew, now also serving as amateur archaeologists, worked to uncover the cave's secrets. They cataloged artifacts, studied the markings, and theorized about the civilization that had once thrived on this planet. As the weeks turned into months, the settlement continued to grow. The gardens flourished, the shelters expanded, and the community thrived. The crew, united by their shared experiences and the bonds they had forged, faced each new challenge with determination and resilience. One evening, as Jax stood on the observation deck of the command center, gazing out at the bustling settlement below, Tessa joined him. They stood in companionable silence, watching the lights twinkle in the gathering dusk. We've built something amazing here, Tessa said, her voice filled with pride. Jax nodded, a sense of fulfillment settling over him. And we've done it together. This is just the beginning. There's so much more to discover, so much more to build. Tessa smiled, her eyes shining with determination. Then let's get to it. As they turned to leave, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, Jax felt a deep sense of purpose. They had created a new home, a new future for humanity, and together they would continue to forge a path through the unknown, driven by the unyielding hope of a brighter tomorrow. The morning sun cast long shadows over the settlement as Jax made his way to the newly completed research lab. The facility, a testament to the crew's hard work and ingenuity, was now the center of their efforts to uncover the mysteries of their new home. Inside, the hum of machinery and the quiet murmur of voices filled the air, a symphony of progress. Good morning, Jax, Dr. Elena Cruz greeted him with a warm smile. She was the head scientist, a woman with a keen intellect and an unyielding passion for discovery. We've made some exciting progress with the artifacts from the cave. Jax's interest was piqued. What have you found? Dr. Cruz led him to a table where several artifacts were laid out. These markings appear to be a form of written language. We've started to decipher it, and it seems to tell a story. A history of the civilization that once lived here. Jax leaned in, examining the intricate symbols. This could be huge. Understanding their history might help us avoid their mistakes. Exactly, Dr. Cruz agreed. We're also analyzing the structural integrity of the cave. There might be deeper chambers we haven't accessed yet. Jax nodded, his mind racing with possibilities. Keep me updated. This discovery could change everything. Leaving the lab, Jax made his way to the training grounds where Captain Ray was overseeing a group of new recruits. The settlement had grown, attracting more survivors from the research outpost and other scattered groups. The new arrivals brought skills and knowledge that were invaluable to their burgeoning community. Morning, Captain, Jax called out as he approached. Captain Ray turned, a stern but approving look on her face. Jax, we've got some promising new recruits here. They're eager to contribute. Jax watched as the recruits went through their drills, their movements precise and disciplined. They'll be a great addition to our team. We need all the help we can get, Ray nodded. We're also working on expanding our defensive perimeter. With the settlement growing, we need to ensure everyone's safety. Good thinking, Jax replied. We can't afford to let our guard down. 
As the day progressed, Jax moved from one task to another, his mind constantly engaged with the myriad responsibilities of leading the settlement. He oversaw the construction of new shelters, coordinated resource allocation, and participated in strategy sessions with the leadership team. The workload was immense, but the progress they made each day fueled his determination. In the late afternoon, Jax joined Tessa at the command center. She was hunched over a console, analyzing data from their latest planetary scans. Hey, Jax, Tessa greeted him without looking up. I think I found something interesting. Jax pulled up a chair beside her. What is it? Tessa pointed to the screen, where a series of topographical maps displayed the planet's surface. There's a large structure here, about 50 miles east of our settlement. It's too regular to be a natural formation. It could be another relic of the ancient civilization. There it is, Tessa said, pointing to a massive stone edifice that rose from the ground like a sentinel from another time. Jax brought the vehicle to a halt, and the team disembarked, their eyes wide with awe. The structure was immense, its surface covered in the same intricate markings they had found in the cave. This is incredible, Dr. Cruz said, her voice filled with wonder as she ran her fingers over the carvings. It's in remarkably good condition. Jax nodded, his mind racing with possibilities. Let's set up a perimeter and start documenting everything. We need to understand what we're dealing with. The team worked tirelessly, their excitement fueling their efforts. They mapped the structure, cataloged the symbols, and collected samples for further analysis. As the sun began to set, they made a remarkable discovery, an entrance hidden beneath layers of overgrown vegetation. We should wait until morning to explore further, Jack said, his voice filled with anticipation. We need to be prepared for anything. The team set up camp nearby, their minds buzzing with the possibilities of what lay within the ancient structure. They shared their theories and excitement over a campfire, the flames casting dancing shadows on their faces. As dawn broke, Jax and Tessa led the team to the entrance. They carefully cleared the vegetation, revealing a heavy stone door. With a concerted effort, they managed to pry it open, revealing a dark passageway that seemed to descend into the depths of the structure. Everyone stay close and keep your eyes open, Jax instructed, activating his flashlight and stepping inside. The passageway was narrow, the air cool and musty. They moved slowly, their lights cutting through the darkness. The walls were covered in more of the ancient markings, their meanings still a mystery. After what felt like an eternity, they emerged into a vast chamber. The ceiling soared high above them, and the floor was littered with ancient artifacts. In the center of the room stood a pedestal, upon which rested a large, intricately carved stone. What is this place? Tessa whispered, her voice filled with awe. Dr. Cruz moved to examine the stone. This appears to be some kind of central artifact. The carvings suggest it held significant importance to the ancient civilization. Jax approached the pedestal, his mind racing with possibilities. Could this be a source of power? Or a key to understanding their technology? As they continued to explore the chamber, they discovered more artifacts and inscriptions. Each find added to the growing picture of the ancient civilization's advanced knowledge and capabilities. This is a treasure trove of information, Dr. Cruz said, her excitement palpable. We need to get these artifacts back to the lab for further study. Jax nodded. Let's catalog everything and transport it carefully. This discovery could be the key to unlocking so much about our new home. The team worked diligently, documenting and transporting the artifacts back to the settlement. The journey back was filled with animated discussion about the implications of their findings. Back at the settlement, the artifacts were carefully analyzed and preserved. The discoveries fueled a renewed sense of purpose and excitement among the crew. The ancient civilization's knowledge offered the potential to advance their own technology and secure their future. As the days turned into weeks, the settlement continued to thrive. New shelters were built, crops flourished, and the community grew stronger. The ancient artifacts provided insights that led to advancements in their own technology, improving their quality of life and expanding their capabilities. One evening, as Jack stood on the observation deck of the command center, watching the stars twinkle in the night sky, Tessa joined him. They stood in silence for a moment, taking in the beauty of their new home. We've come a long way, 
Tessa said, her voice filled with pride. And there's still so much more to discover. Jax nodded, a sense of fulfillment and anticipation filling him. We've built something incredible here, but you're right. This is just the beginning. There's a whole world out there waiting for us to explore and understand. Tessa smiled, her eyes shining with determination. Then let's continue the journey, together. As they turned to leave, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, Jax felt a deep sense of purpose and optimism. They had created a new home, a new future for humanity, and together they would continue to forge a path through the unknown, driven by the unyielding hope of a brighter tomorrow.